Hello guys, welcome to my channel Test Code Automate. So this is my third video for the Playwright with TypeScript series. So in this video, I would be covering basic steps to start with Playwright test scripting. So in this video, you would be learning how we can create a TypeScript file, how we can import the modules from Playwright test package, and then we would be creating the test block where all the code related to your test scripts would be going. So let's start. Let me open the VS code. So here I've created one folder, which is playwright with TypeScript concepts. So in this particular folder, I would be putting all the code related to the concepts, which we are going to learn throughout this particular series. I've kept this particular folder at my, uh, this particular location, E drive. You can put it at any location and you can give any name for this particular folder. Okay, so before starting, let me quickly install uh, the Playwright. Currently, the Playwright is not not installed, and uh, you, as you can see, we are not able to see any of the uh, files and the subfolders here. If you have not watched my previous video where I have uh, I explained it in detail that how you can install the Playwright through the different ways, so I would recommend you to watch the video. I will provide the link into the description of that particular video. So let me quickly install the Playwright. So I have already installed the Playwright extension, uh, which is this one. Uh, to install the Playwright, let me press the Command Shift P. And that's it. We can install the Playwright. All the default options are selected and we can click on the OK. So it will take uh, hardly 20 to 30 seconds to just to install the playwright and then we can continue so it is now installing the browsers and that's it uh, so the playwright is installed and you can see all the files and uh, subfolders here so so first thing uh, which we are going to do is to create a typescript file where we would be putting our Playwright test scripts. Okay, so as you can see, uh, the Playwright team has already provided one uh, .ts file uh, where they have uh, kind of given the demo that how we can write our uh, test scripts here. So let me close it. I would be creating one new file where we would be putting our test scripts. Okay. So you can you can right click onto this particular test folder. You would be able to see this particular menu. You can click onto this new file, and uh, we can give any name to this file. Let me give kickstart dot spec. You can write it uh, like test or something uh, which you want to give, but usually I prefer it to give like spec. As you can see, the same here into the example thing and then you need to give this dot ts so that's it you can hit enter and this particular file will get opened so uh, let me import the test module from the playwright test so so to do so we need to write import then the module which we want to import so this is test and then we need to write from and here you can give double quotes or single quotes and once you do that, you would be able to see all the uh, different uh, options which through which we can import. So this is the first one which we need to give the playwright forward slash test. So that's it. So this is the TypeScript syntax you can see where we are importing the test module from this playwright test. So this playwright test, as you can see, which is which would be available into this node module and this playwright test. Okay, so from here we are kind of importing this test module where we would be writing the code. So this is related to the import statement. And uh, this semicolon is uh, kind of optional into the TypeScript and JavaScript. So if you want to give, that's up to you. And if you don't want to give, uh, then you can remove it. Now coming on to the second line. So here we, we, we would be kind of writing the test block. So this is the test block okay and uh, so into this particular test block 
we we would be giving the first parameter as the name of the test test case you can give any name let me uh, give it uh, kick start with playwright okay so this is the first parameter uh, which is the name of uh, your test let me mouse over onto this test so here as you can see the first parameter is the title of type string which we have already provided and the second parameter is the test function where we would be providing the anonymous function so in javascript there are different ways we can write a function i would be covering that particular part into my upcoming videos so for now let me quickly tell you how we can write the anonymous function so to write the particular anonymous function the syntax would be kind of like this let me write it separately then i will put it there so you need to provide it uh, like this the parenthesis which would be empty for now we would not be providing any parameter inside this and then you need to give this arrow operator and then uh, the curly braces so that's it this is the asynchronous function where uh, which we would be putting here into this uh, second parameter okay so let me cut it let me write it here again okay so that's it and inside it uh, we would be kind of writing our whole test scripts okay whatever the code which we want to provide uh, let's say if we want to log in into the particular application we want to provide the username password and login uh, click on to the login button so for that we can write the code inside it and uh, then uh, playwright would be kind of executing it okay so for now let me let me just write a console.log and uh, my first test so this is this is kind of print statement which would be printing your whatever the string which you are providing here into the uh, console so uh, just for the demo purpose i am giving it uh, the console log here we would be putting our actual code okay later into uh, the videos uh, similarly we can let's say uh, let's say we are uh, we are having five test cases which uh, for which we want to write the test scripts so here we can give another test block uh, my second test case uh, this is the name which i am providing for this particular test second test script and here similarly we, we need to give the asynchronous function so parenthesis then arrow symbol and then curly braces so that's it here you can put your uh, second test case okay for now let me put the console log console dot log which we whatever string we provide it would be writing it second test script sorry it should be small okay so let me give you the quick recap uh, for this particular video so here uh, we have created one folder uh, where we installed the playwright test and then inside this test folder we have created uh, this kickstart.spec.ts file and then we have imported the test module from the at the rate play, playwright forward slash test package and then we are kind of using this particular test which we have just imported here um, so this is the first test block where uh, we need to give uh, this first parameter as the name of the test script uh, it's up to you whatever test case name or script name you want to provide and then the second would be the anonymous function uh, which we need to give where we would be writing kind of uh, uh, the whole code uh, related to our test scripts okay so this is the second block and uh, that's it i mean into this particular video we would be uh, covering till this point and into the next video i would be 
showing you uh, some basic options which we are going to use into our visual studio and also uh, to the playwright test runner so that's it stay tuned for the upcoming videos and please like share and subscribe to my channel thank you very much have a great day